Today we've got our Lumify set up with our vascular probe. And really what we're looking at is the two techniques, so in plane and out of plane, looking specifically at following our needle to a target. I personally think this is one of the most useful skills in ultrasound when it comes to point of care ultrasound, particularly in the emergency department. And the most common procedures that we do are obviously vascular access, but also uh, needle guided nerve blocks. Um, and that comes with either peripheral or central access as well. So importantly, we're, we're not going to try and teach you guys uh, the infection control principles of vascular access or needle guidance. And what I'd look for you to do is just to have a look at your local, local protocols because it is obviously vitally important, particularly when it comes to deeper structures and particularly central venous access. Uh, but we'll go through the steps of following the needle through and trying to hit a target. Uh, so importantly, when we're, when we're doing particularly vascular access, but any needle guidance, I think, is the way that you set up your ultrasound machine in relation to where you are sitting. Uh, one of the most common mistakes I see my registrars make in the emergency department is that they're trying to insert a cannula or do central access with their machine in a really ergonomically awkward spot. So, for example, if you're doing... Uh, vascular access here and, and the screen's right in front of me, I can simply look there as well as have this in my peripheral, peripheral vision here with the patient. If your screen's over to your left hand side, you're basically looking under your own arm to try and put the needle where you want to put it, which is just not, not suitable and never really gonna work for you. So make sure you set it up so that it's comfortable for you and put your patient in a comfortable position. Um, so what we'll do first is we'll just run through the two different techniques. So we need a bit of uh, ultrasound goop on our probe um, and I'll just set up the Lumify vascular there and then we're going to scan. We'll do out of plane first which I think is going to be the most common way that most people start doing needle guidance. So out of plane meaning that your probe is going to be 90 degrees to where you put your needle to. This is usually most used in vascular access uh, and the in plane technique is more commonly used for uh, nerve blocks etc. But I'd recommend when you're starting to do this always start with out of plane first because it's actually a little bit easier um, and then flick around and try and do in plane after you've got the, the knack of it. Uh, so what we can see here is we've got a vessel there in the middle of our screen. I can see that the depth there is about uh, three centimeters down. The focal point's okay so we're happy with that and what we're going to do is with your needle we've got a longer cannula here which makes things a little bit easier. Pick the point that you want to do, you go through your cleaning process, quick through the skin, that's the stingy bit. Now, you can see your needle there. So as soon as you see your needle, we're a little bit off the mark, a little tiny bit, but that's okay. What you want to do now is just move the probe a tiny bit forward, drive your needle forward, see your needle tip again. Now stop everything, probe forward, advance the needle. So there you go, needle coming in. So you can see we're at the edge of the vessel there. Probe forward, needle forward. Now we can see that we're in the middle of the vessel there. So I'm pretty happy that we've hit our target, despite the fact that I actually was a little bit off center to start with. So once we're in that point, we could advance the cannula off. If we were doing vascular access or if we're doing local anesthetic injection, then we can inject in that area there. So the key points to that, and we can go through that again, we'll just come back out a little bit. Uh, basically, quick through the skin, find your needle tip, okay? As soon as you see the tip of your needle, probe forward, needle forward. Tip of your needle, stop, probe forward, needle forward, okay? So you want to follow the tip of your needle the whole way through. And the main reason is that's important is you can see the tip of the needle there on screen. If I come back up, you can still see the needle that's actually cutting through the middle of the needle and it just looks like the tip. So if you're seeing that, you might think that you're not in the vessel yet, but actually you're all the way down here, okay? So that's gonna be for out of plane, okay? So we'll go through and we'll just do in plane now. So in plane options, so you can either track your vessel along, try and find a nice straight vessel if you're doing vessel or if you're using it for nerves, just find the spot where you want to find the nerve. And then if you can, practice rotating on the vessel. Try and 
try and keep your vessel in. So you can see you come across there and then extend it out and you get that nice tubular structure, which is gonna be our target there. So keys to in plane. Make sure that your target is right in the middle of the screen as you can see it. And make sure you know where the marker probe is. So I've got the marker probe towards me, which corresponds to the probe marker on the screen, which means I know that my needle should appear from the screen from left to right. I'm gonna go down and try and hit that target. So keep your hand holding the probe as still as possible. Again, clean, do your aseptic technique, quick through the skin, because that's a stingy bit. You can see your needle nicely there coming in. So as you come down, just follow your needle, follow your needle, try and keep it nice and bright all the way to your target, okay? So what we'll do, if we come back here and we'll just come out of our target there, if you're here and you happen to slightly fall off, the key here is to not move your probe. So keep your probe looking at the target, move your needle to find the target in the probe, okay? So see now the needle's back in place and we're gonna just follow that along again into the target. And for example, if we we're cannulating here, you just slide the cannula off and you'd be fairly happy with that. So that's it, in plane, out of plane technique a couple of little tricks and things for you to follow. But all I can say is just practice, practice, practice. If you can get a hand of these phantoms, they're fantastic. Or otherwise, when you're going through and doing these modules, and then we'll go through them together, uh, doing your logbooking as well. So that concludes our video tutorial for needle guidance. Hopefully that was helpful for everyone. Thanks for watching and happy scanning.